Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I want to do a little bit of a review on this bag right here, which is the Coach Luna shoulder bag in the color black. Um, I've had this bag for about two weeks now, rolling into three weeks. Um, and I just want to share with you guys what my thoughts have been on this little bag and do kind of like a first impressions video since I've used it, I feel like, a good amount of times to really give a thorough analysis on it um so yeah if you guys are interested in a video over this cute little bag um please do stay tuned and just for full disclosure i do currently work for coach as an essay however all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection and i'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags also if you guys like these kind of videos um please do consider liking and subscribing because all i do on my channel is talk about handbags and stuff so if you guys like handbags and stuff um please do consider liking and subscribing and you can also follow me on instagram too for more handbag related content so when it comes to like the luna shoulder bag as you can see it's a pretty like simple handbag it is a crack shape shoulder bag so it has a little bit of a scooping detail here in the center and it does have a very substantial shoulder strap as well which is I think something I really enjoy about this bag um, as you can see it does have adjustments so you have three adjustments on each side and they adjust with these little buckles here well they're actually not little they're pretty substantial and they do have a little bit of a engraving there as well as this coach there and there as well and the hardware for the black luna shoulder bag will be in this like kind of glossy gunmetal hardware the bag does not feature any exterior pockets or details it is just going to be the pebbled leather that this bag is made from so here is like the front of the bag and the bag as you can see no exterior details it is super soft and supple the bottom bag does not feature feet either but it is going to be one panel of leather so there's not like a seam in the center here and another really interesting detail too which you might not notice is that around the um, base of the bag there is a little bit of a piping detail that goes from one end to the other and it is on the front and the back of the bag as well. So when Coach adds this like piping detail, it definitely helps support the bag and give it a little bit of structure. So as you can see, when I squeeze onto the bottom of the bag, that piping detail really helps give the bag a little bit of that extra structure um, with the seam being inverted on the inside. On one side of the bag, you do get a little coach hand tag and a little C charm as well that comes with the bag, which I think is super cute. So you get a little C charm for coach there in the same hardware. And here's what the hand tag looks like. It just says coach New York on the front there in this embossing. And on the back, it is plain. So you can definitely get the um, back of the hang tag monogram. And they attach onto this built-in D-ring underneath one of the tabs. So if you did want, you, know, you can put your other charms and whatnot on the little D-ring right there as well. So I think that is a cute little feature. Getting inside the bag, as you can see, um, it does have a zipper closure there on the top, and it is the same like gunmetal hardware, and it does have a very substantial zipper pull as well. That is this leather tab, and on the inside of the bag, it is lined in a microfiber, and it is like the honey yellow color that um, most coach bags are lined in. So most of the time, like I want to say, if it's a black handbag from Coach, it's either a black lining that matches the bag a oxblood interior, so like a really deep burgundy, or this warm yellow honey color. I feel like those are usually the three colors that Coach picks out for the interior lining color. Um, so there's that. Um, but this one here does have the really soft microfiber material and it is in the honey color. So it is this really warm yellow. And it does feature a little slip pocket as well and have a little press stud closure. So you can snap the button in place if I can do it here, like so, wow, this is not going great here, um, but there we go. Um, you have a little press stud there that you can close the pocket. Um, I don't really use this pocket. I just kind of leave it closed at all times. And then you have a little story patch there as well on the interior. So a super simple layout. So now I'm gonna show you guys everything that I would typically carry with me um, with like the Luna shoulder bag and I will say the bag itself is pretty compact in size so you do have to do a little bit of editing but it's not like too much um so here is like some of the items and first is a little bottle of Germex and then I have a compact mirror from Kate Spade 
I have my wallet, which is the Coach Cherry Print Card Case in the chambray color. And this is so cute because the cherries have like a little bit of glitter in them, which I think is really fun. And then I have this coin pouch. Um, this is actually housing a lot of my other miscellaneous cards. So I have that in there. And then I have my old phone. This is an iPhone XR, but this is you know, a pretty typical, like, small size iPhone, and I just have a slim black case on it with a little pop socket, and then very lastly is a chapstick from Dior, and yeah, that'll be it. Here's everything inside of the Luna shoulder bag, and as you see, it is a pretty, like, compact size bag, but you are able to fit a lot of items in here still, I feel like. Um, you just have to do a little bit of editing and maybe a tiny bit of Tetrising if you want to pull some more items. Um, but all those items I showed in here did fit really nicely, and I am also able to fit my car keys in here as well. I don't know where I put them, um, but if I had them, I would definitely display them in here for these other items. And here is what the bag looks like when it's fully zipped. And as you can see, there's no warping or distortion of this bag, and it does um, look really nice with all those items in there. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so now I'm going to do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison between the Luna shoulder bag and the Swinger shoulder bag, just because I feel like those two bags are pretty comparable in their style. So here they are next to each other, and I will say between these two bags, the Luna is definitely a little bit larger in size, so you did need a bag to hold, you know, a little bit more items with you on a daily basis. This one's probably the option, um, but I will say the major difference between these two bags here is that the Swinger shoulder bag is the one that comes with the crossbody option, so if you did want a you know, shoulder bag that converts into a crossbody as well. Definitely look into the swinger bag just because this option, or this bag, I should say, does have the crossbody strap option. Um, so that is a really nice addition about this bag. Um, while the Luna shoulder bag only comes with the really thick um, shoulder strap. However, you are able to remove these, um, like shoulder straps here with the little buckles and then add on your own crossbody strap which I can show in a second um but yeah that could be like an option too but here they are next to each other and yeah there's that so here's like how to simply convert the Luna shoulder bag into like a crossbody bag um so all you have to do is just take off the shoulder strap which is what I did here so this is like the shoulder strap to the Luna bag and all I did was just take it off and then you just have your two buckles and then you can just clip on any bag strap you want so you can probably clip on like one of the bag chains on here or a novelty strap which is what I did um, this one is like a border rivets one, so I feel like this looks kind of cute like this, and then you can carry it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody by doing so. It sounds like the Luna shoulder bag. I just really think this bag is so cute, um, and I don't know, I just love like the little scoopy shape detail here in the center, really giving it that moon vibe. Um, it's so cute, and I also really like the fact too that the shoulder strap on this is adjustable, and removable. So if you did want to, you make the bag longer or shorter to your desired length or completely remove the strap as well. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to shoulder bags that are about the size, the strap that is given to the bag is non-adjustable, usually permanently attached to the bag itself or, you know, just has little clips or whatnot. Um, while this bag, you can adjust the strap to make it longer or shorter, which is awesome. And then you can also completely re remove the strap too, and then add on crossbody strap, which I think is really nice. So yeah, I just really love the look and design of this bag. The other thing I really like about the Luna shoulder bag is just the fact that it is in a really soft pebble leather. And I just really like the leather that Coach chose for this bag, um, just because it's really thick pebbling really makes the bag more casual and super soft and supple to use. So as you can see, the bag is just like, wah, wah, like it's like super soft. Um, and it is just so easy to carry because, you know, the bag is in that super soft pebbled leather. And I will say eventually later on, I can definitely see Coach making a smaller version of this bag and like a 
you know, smooth, refined calf leather that's, like, sometimes on the rogues with, like, a chain strap. That would be really cute. Um, but, you know, that would be a totally different feel. I feel like that would be very, like, classy and dressy, while this one's just a little more casual and, like, for every day, you know? Um, but, yeah, super cute bag. And it also does come in a plethora of colors as well. I believe right now the combinations are chalk with gold hardware. There's, like, a red with gold hardware, yellow with gunmetal, um, the signature tan rust combination with gold, and then black with, um this gunmetal hardware here and I will say out of all the color combinations I'm very happy I chose black um just because I feel like black definitely goes with everything and definitely for the silhouette too I feel like the black with the black hardware and even the black stitching just looks really good and yeah it's like a super cool bag so there's that. So those are for today's video over the Luna shoulder bag. Um, if you guys have any more questions about this bag, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out that way. Um, but if you did like today's video over this bag, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!